welcome back to Better Living. I am here now with Marty and Tony. The I can't. I, it's the beer, you know. Not really. You're mad because they didn't leave the beer. Tony's like, why don't you leave the beer for us? We're here to talk about Fantasticon. Tell us. We'll start with you. Tell us, Marty, what is Fantasticon? Fantasticon is a comic book show in the old school tradition where the focus is on comic books, artists, original art, and toys, and that is the bulk of the show. And it's coming up this weekend? Yes, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, April 11th and 12th at the Grand Plaza Hotel, downtown Toledo, right next to the Maumee River. Now tell me what got you into comics in the first place? Oh, that was, that's, a, that's a good question. I guess being surrounded by an older brother and sister that were reading comics to me when I was a kid. And I, I've been reading since I was four years old. It's kind of made, I feel like, and I may be totally wrong here, but I feel like it's made a resurgence in the last few years. Um, so why the resurgence? I personally think it's because of uh, all the attention that the movies are getting mm -hmm. now. Uh, people who weren't reading comic books are now dis rediscovering them or finding out, hey, you know, Spider-Man was a comic book before he was a cartoon character. Uh, Batman was a comic book before he was in movies. So I think these people are rediscovering or discovering comic books for the first time and, and they're introducing a whole new generation to it. That makes a lot of sense. That would be why. Because people get obsessed with some of those characters, don't yeah. they? And then they yeah. want to know the whole story behind them. Now, Tony, you're actually an illustrator, yes. correct? Yes. So tell us what you do. Uh, I, uh, I'm an independent uh, artist. Uh, I've created uh, this comic called Gapo the Clown, uh, and he is a kid show host, uh, but he's just abusive and mean, but everybody loves him because he's on television. So um, it, that's exactly what all kids show hosts should be. Exactly. Abusive and mean. I, that's what I think of when I think. Well, that's. I mean, it was. I always saw these kids show hosts as being phony, and that's yes, kind of why yeah. I, I I created this character. So this this book is not for children, uh, but it is funny. Uh, it's sophomoric humor, uh, but it's something I think all uh, all adults can relate to, uh, especially any adult who's watched these shows. Um, so this is, this is a comic I do. Uh, it's published by Caliber Comics. Uh, I'm, I'm also a publisher. And uh, I have uh, these two books, Portraits of Poe and Pieces of Madness. Uh, Portraits of Poe is a collection of Edgar Allan Poe stories mm -hmm. with uh, new illustrations and portraits done by different artists of Edgar Allan Poe. And Pieces of Madness is a collection of short stories uh, that we, it's our first book published uh, by Rocketing Studios by uh, new author Casey Pierce. Uh, and she'll be at the uh, Fantasticon also signing her, her books. Cool. So it, it's not just comics at Fantasticon. It's it's going to be a lot more than just comics, like other authors, too. What else is going to be there? Original art. Uh, a lot of people collect original mm -hmm. art. It's a one-of-a-kind item. It's, it's a really unique opportunity to actually meet artists like Tony. He, he may or may not have prints and uh, original art there. I'm guessing you will. I will. Something. I'll Probably have prints. I'll have original you art. You have no choice now. I, now <laughs> I, yeah, I kind of have to television. bring them. Yeah. 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 Thanks, yeah. Marty. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, people collect that. They love it. And uh, getting back to what you were saying about Batman and stuff, people dress up as Batman. So the cosplay is another part of the show where kids like to dress mm -hmm. up as Superman or Batman or uh, Poison Ivy. There's Catwoman. Lots and lots of characters. I also publish. I publish fanzines and comic books. And lately, more fanzines than comics. But years ago, I published Pop Art Funnies. So um, you just used a word I don't really know. Fanzine? Yeah, a fanzine Tell me is, what that is. A fanzine is uh, something that me and Tony would do as fans. If, you're, if you like Batman, for instance, you would assemble uh, your own tribute to Batman. Okay. And this is, you know, something that you put together. You could knock these out at a Kinko's and maybe make 100, 200 copies. And it's, it's kind of a fan book, basically. That's fun. I mean, it's, it's your own scrapbook. It's your own yeah, collection. Yeah, kind of like yeah, that. Yeah. Yep. Let's. You brought some things with you. I'm going to pick this up. Is this? I assume this is uh, artwork. Well, this would yes. be really original, isn't it? That's yeah, that's uh, George, um, Fred Rhodes from 1967, Sad Sack, and that's something I picked up in a, at a show about 20 years ago in Chicago. And believe it or not, back then that was ten dollars. Really? And today, original art can go for thousands and thousands of dollars, depending on what it is. That's that's a really cool. And this is stuff that even if you are not. Um, as into the comics or right. any of the characters, that's that's still cool art. Like I yeah, would love yeah. to oh, hang yeah. that in my home. Yeah, I've got another one here. One of the artists that'll be at our show is um, oh, Keith is Pollard, mm -hmm. and he was uh, an illustrator for Marvel Comics, and he worked on the Fantastic Four, Thor, Iron Man, Spider Man, the Avengers, 
he'll be there. You can meet him in person, and he sells original art. That's and really neat. I got that from him years and years ago. I think, again, like 15 years ago, maybe. Yeah, those are really cool. Well, let's tell people all the details. Do they need tickets to get in? Can you get tickets at the door? You can door? buy them online. They're, um, they're available online. I believe it's $10 in advance on Saturday and $8 in advance for Sunday. And then at the door, it's 12 on Saturday and 10 on Sunday. And let's give people the hours. The hours are 10 a.m. to 5, 6 p.m. on Saturday and on Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It sounds like if somebody has any interest in any of this, that you could come at 10 a.m. and you really could spend the entire day there. You could yeah. easily. Yeah. Lots and lots of stuff. Um, yeah. Now, opportunities to buy art, opportunities to get... Uh, books and perhaps have them signed. Other opportunities for us yes. to spend our money? Yeah, there's a really good one actually. Uh, when I was a kid, this comic book debuted in 1975. This writer and artist, Richard Comley, mm -hmm. is going to be a guest of the show. This is your chance to meet a Canadian author that rarely, rarely travels in the United States. In fact, this is his only North American appearance this year. So he's the creator of um, Captain Canuck. There will be a couple of actors from the Walking Dead TV show there. Mm -hmm. The uh, pets that play the zombie pets on that show. Uh, there will be some fanzines there as well, like these. Uh, Robin Dale will be a guest of the show, and he's the author of the uh, fanzine Price Guide. Uh, this book here, Amazing Fantasy, debuted in 1962. This was the comic that introduced Spider-Man to the world. Not this exact issue, but... But as, this, as it progressed, the last issue this is featured really Spider-Man. Cool. I just want to show them real quick. we got to go. But 10 cents is what this right. was when it was published. That is yep. awesome. What a lot of fun. Well, Fantastic Con, first time in Toledo. You need to get there this weekend. Don't miss it. It'll be a ton of fun. Get those tickets online. We'll be right back.